All right, good morning, everyone. We are welcome to our channel today. And today date is 30th of November, sorry, 30th of October 2023. And um, the time right now is, um, this is some minutes past seven, Nigeria time. So this morning we want to check our price. So for those who have been following us, let me ask you, how, how old do you think our fry is today. So today make them the servants. Yesterday I posted a video. That video was made a day before yesterday, but we produced it yesterday because we are very much busy. So let us take a look at what we have. As I said, we do cover because of temperature regulation. So just take a look. So let's take a look. Just look at them inside the way they are growing you know last week we actually siphoned the pond let me just put so that you can see them so um you can see some big head are started coming out already some big head are started coming out so everything here looks so nice then what are the lessons i want to teach up today now, some of the lessons I'm going to teach you at this day seven is ensure that your flow through is always running. For those who are following us, then ensure you are feeding them very, very well. Avoid overfeeding. How do you know that you're overfeeding them? The science of overfeeding is um, you look at the pond base, you see some remnants of feed. So, that feeding aspect is one of the things that you need to learn very, very well. They know when to change food for them, like we, uh, we have been using 0.1, because very soon we'll be changing the feed to the next one that we take it. Then your screen, it's very, very important, you, you clean your screen. Then once in a while, within um, three days, you bring out your screen and wash it, because the dirty that is caused by feed, that surround the base of this screen can cause bacteria coming, thereby introducing disease in your phone. Then always check if your fish are leaking out. Always check. Can you see? Nothing is leaking out. Always check there. Let's, let me check this other one. So, not looking out. Then, siphon in. Yes, you can see siphon. Like, if you look at the base of our pond, we still have cluster of little debris. Cluster of little debris. Look at that debris there. So, you siphon that debris and remove them and return the fish. So that does the little work to the beam. So, at this level, what we do more is more of maintenance. Try to maintain this fry until they reach 14 days. Okay? So we we'll maintain them here to 14 days. That will be this time next week. We are going to transfer them from here. But you can see one one magic that these fish normally do is that they keep multiplying. Some people will be asking, are they really reproducing here? The reason why they are multiplying is not that they are multiplying. As they grow day by day, their sizes tend to increase. And their sizes increasing, they tend to occupy more space. That is why you look at it, they are multiplying. And at night, when you come at night, you see that everywhere will be choked with fish. They will all be swimming like that. And the reason is because um, the ones that are on the floor will rise up and all of them will be swimming everywhere will be jam packed. The student asks me, is it necessary to feed at night? Yes, you, you, you can feed them at least twice in the night before they break, at least twice. So, but if you can't give them twice, you give them one because fry need food a lot. They need food no matter how small to eat and grow. If they don't eat well, the next they will do, they will be lying down and once they lie down, they will not be able to wake up again. That we die. <laughs> so it is not a good thing for you to allow your fry to die. So I know that you'll be asking the function of this. 
this is our overflow pipe and it's screamed inside and the purpose is to in case people have an overflow sometimes our screen here will get blocked so when it gets blocked instead of the water to rise and our fry will flow out we pass through here but this one the size the diameter is a bit bigger than the one here you understand so we are actually pushing and i would like you to understand that um the purpose of doing this video is to inspire young farmers to be successful in this business we are well informed that a lot of persons are having challenges with fire management and we encourage you to continue to follow our work our teachings after following them you will have good success in what you are doing so do not fail to like share our post so i wish you all the best well i will go and show you the single links we have just to inspire you um i think um they are placed order for them whenever they left you can always book okay you can always book you can always place order then we'll help you make your supplies thank you so much we love you you can see our fingerlings, they are already turning to toes. Like as I was saying, um, this one has been ordered. Than we order. So what we actually do, we produce fish in batches. So as this one is going out, going out the, the previous one you just watched, they will also be going out. Remember, for those who have been calling us, we have fish in other places, which we have disposed. So we arrange it so that every month we can always have something to sell so i don't know i believe you like what you're seeing can you see how active they are can you see them can you see how active they are how they are swimming can you see them and their size the sizes is um let me just say 70 percent uniform because there are, there are some big health that are among them can you see everywhere is fish so now let me inspire you once again you can actually be successful in this business once you are doing the right thing. And for those of you who have not been getting good results, you have been praying, you have been thinking, you have been worried. To make life more easier for you, why not you get our manuals? Why not register for a mentorship training so that we can help you? That is what we actually do. We have, we have helped a lot of persons to generate good results. And your case will not be different. So, this is um, Monday, 30th day of October. Gradually, we are coming to the end of the month, and we're also coming down to the end of the year. So, I encourage you to be hardworking, to be more committed to your work. Work very well. Be more diligent so you can have food on your table, and you can have some cash to take care of your basic needs. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. I will care for your welfare.